Welcome to the first in a series of tutorial videos on how to use the Package Daemon repository with PCBSD. Uh, for this first video, I'm just going to install the PCBSD rolling release with uh, no other window managers, uh, just Luxbox, and I'm going to install CFS since I'm using a 64-bit system. I'm going to snapshot everything uh, before I start to make changes uh, to the system. Um, then I'll just give a quick overview of what you can do with it afterwards. Okay, so for the first screen here, and I uh, apologize here, just kind of doing this with a phone camera, nothing nothing real high-end. I'm going to hit Customize on the Desktop Selection screen. Um, here's where you can cycle through and you know, choose your various different versions, but I'm going to choose the regular desktop version. You can install KDE alongside, and that won't hurt anything. Um, you definitely won't want to do... Um, GNOME, LXE, or XFCE, um, those three will uh, prevent the installation, at least at this point, from working properly um, until they've been updated to, well, definitely GNOME 2 is, is never going to work. <laughs> so we're going to uncheck um, XFCE for now. Um, in fact, I'm just going to uncheck all desktops. And I'm not going to install any drivers on this laptop because I just have uh, Intel video. Um, otherwise, I'd go in here and check NVIDIA if I was using NVIDIA and so on. Save it. Hit uh, next. Um, you could go with the just the standard uh, CFS installation. I like to do these to uh, avoid the MBR menu since I'm not <clears throat> since I'm not dual booting. I just go into advanced here. Use GPT. Uncheck that for installing MBR. Next, 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 finish. And just let it install, and I'll be back shortly to show you the booted desktop, and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're at the GDM login screen where we can log into a, a window manager here. Um, I chose to do uh, Fluxbox, but if you had installed uh, KDE, that'd be fine to log into it as well. Um, once we log in here, uh, just open up Xterm. Kind of typed ahead on this part because I couldn't hold the camera and type at the same time. Uh, basically, I just uh, typed SU dash to log in as root. I typed ZFS list. Uh, which shows you my tank name is Tank Zero, uh, what PCBSD chose for me. And down at the bottom, I typed ZFS space snapshot space Tank Zero slash root slash default at pre gnome three, and at pre gnome three is the just the name of my snapshot. Uh, tank Zero slash root slash default is the part of the file system I'm snapshotting, which is where I'm going to make all the modifications. Um, so I can basically I put in that quick I made a snapshot. And now uh, I just opened App Cafe here. Over uh, over the left here. I'm gonna install a couple tools real quick. Uh, web browser, just to make things easier. Don't have to do this, totally optional, but if you're working off one system that makes things easier. Otherwise um, you can read on another computer the steps and Type them in on this one. Um, in addition, addition to this, I think I'm going to install a terminal emulator because the built-in Xterm doesn't allow me to paste commands. So I'm gonna try GTK Term. It's that easy to install from the App Cafe. You just search search for Term. GTK Term pops up starts installing, we'll let those install and come back. Okay, so GTK term did not uh, provide what I needed with the uh, cut and paste functionality and come to find out actually holding the left and right mouse buttons in Xterm will accomplish the same thing. So opening Xterm and pressing the left and right mouse button. But since we're already there, um, once you have these two installed in App Cafe, 
uh, you can press uh, Alt F2 to open the run command to run a program and type Firefox to open Firefox. Might take a minute to come up here. It was a little slower in Fluxbox for some reason, unless I typed it wrong. Nope, oh, there it is. Air window and then Alt F2 again for uh, terminal. That was the name of the program. Uh, it should open a little little terminal. There we go. So after you open uh, Firefox here, you're gonna hit the Package Demon website and scroll down here. Um, I've got a couple how-to guides. One is for the rolling release, which I'm going to go into in a minute. I'm actually going to show you for, um, in case you're running the the 9.1 stable release also, uh, which still uses the package format. Um, there's a post here which has the latest scripts for 32-bit users or 64-bit. Um, you can run this command to fetch this script in a terminal. I'm going to go there, I'm going to select that command, I'm going to go to edit, I'm going to go to copy. I'm going to log in as root in the terminal, I've done SU already. Here my password, I'm going to paste the command. It's going to fetch the script. Um, you can read this script if you like by executing more to see all the actual commands that it's going to run. Um, you just want to actually run it, paste. And it just basically says, before executing this script, make sure you log out of any other window managers and use GDM to log to Fluxbox, which we are. For the best experience possible, it's recommended to run this on a fresh install with no other window managers, which we did. Um, this script will remove any conflicting packages and then install GNOME 3.4, blah, 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 and so on. Um, basically, this script will also um, actually, it will remove um, GNOME 2, XFCE, and LXDE for you um, if those are installed using the PC Meta Package Manager. I added that in. Um, so if you do have those installed, it will uninstall them. Then it'll run package delete about 300 times. Um, then it will run package add a couple hundred times to um, basically get the uh, the GNOME 3 packages installed. Um, I do plan to update this as well. I wasn't going to. I was going to focus on the package ng release, but since I've had a lot of requests to uh, update this to provide uh, the newer GNOME 3 packages and Cinnamon as well. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna update this as well. Um, get a get a new version out there soon. Um, and basically, I'll try to write it in so that uh, you don't have to uh, to start over. That it'll just remove all the GNOME 3 packages that you may currently have and uh, reinstall the latest ones. So we're gonna skip this. I'm, I'm gonna press Control C twice to abort it now. Um, but normally you would just press enter here, it would run through the commands, it would remove packages, it would install the new ones. Um, since we're running package ng on this installation, we can't do it this way. So I need to control C twice. Now you'll see I have added a how-to for installing GNOME 3.4 on the rolling release. Uh, this also applies to Cinnamon, you have to do this first. Um, basically you want to remove any desktops that may conflict, XFCE. XFCE, LXE, GNOME, if installed. Um, so it's a fresh install, don't have to worry about that. Um, you could go to uh, Control Panel, System, Control Panel, and uh, System Manager here. If you have these installed, um, uncheck them from there. So on that screen, after you've entered your root password, if you'd had um, GNOME or LXDE or um, XFCE installed, um, you can just uncheck them here and that would take them off. Um, I should point out um, that probably a big reason that this is not important, and I'm, I'm sure of it um, after reading a lot, a lot through the mailing list, um, is the fact that adding GNOME 3 into ports the way it is now would actually break um, LXDE and XFCE and so on until those ports can be updated um, to to work with the new libraries as well. 
Um, in other words, uh, the ports are pretty stable now um, with the GNOME 3 stuff. I mean, there's some issues, uh, but there's a lot of work that's required to existing ports um, before it can just be uh, kind of thrown in there. So a lot of uh, a lot of testing has to be done by the GNOME 3, uh, the FreeBSD GNOME team, um, before that can actually happen. Um, and that's probably a big reason it's not in PCBSD at this point as they... Um, rely on stuff being in ports first to ensure no breakage with um, any of these other components. Um, so now that we've uh, gone through all that, we'll just kind of move on here. Um, basically, uh, we've removed the desktops that will conflict. We need to set a package site. So we're going to need to edit um, user local etsy package.conf, uncomment the following lines, or comment the following lines. And just so you can see here, the following lines that I commented uh, were the git mirror, uh, which is actually not working at the current moment anyway. Um, pub key and the HTTP mirror, HTTP mirror, of course. I'm going to leave package uh, cache dir because I like to have that around. Um, just makes things easier later instead of uh, re-downloading packages when you go to reinstall things if you're moving and so on. Um, and eventually this will hopefully work better when the multiple repos thing is fixed that we can use uh, both the PCBSD repo and my repo and be able to update them simultaneously. Um, all that's really going to happen here is we're just not going to, uh, once we switch this over, we won't get any more updates to Warden or App Cafe or any of the control panel utilities and so on and until we switch it back and vice versa. Uh, we still will get FreeBSD system updates as those go through FreeBSD update. Uh, now I'm going to stop here for a minute and add my lines in. So back on the page, we're going to read the example for 64-bit 9x. Um, we're going to use this package site line. Copy it. Paste that in there. Also, for maybe enhanced security here, you can follow this guide uh, for the package repo key. Go to this page here. You can download the cert file. Um, we'll do that in a minute. For now, we're going to cut and paste the pub key line with a pointing to user local Etsy package demon cert. <clears throat> and we'll save that. I forgot I'm just in edit here. Didn't install nano yet. And I do miss, for the record, uh, Nano being part of the installation. <laughs> Going to fetch the cert file. And that's that. That prepares pretty much everything as far as the repo is concerned. So we can go back. Now, and the reason I installed the terminal is just to make this whole process easier. There are some package conflicts. Um, I can't simply, at this point, type package install gnome 3 because these packages um, can't won't for whatever reason won't allow me to be upgraded um, it's kind of a known issue I guess with package at this point um, some of these older packages just don't uh, allow an upgrade at this point so I'll start down here that part selected just saves me a lot of typing the nice thing definitely about package ng is that you don't you no longer have to type uh, package delete gnome desktop and the version you no longer have to know all that pertinent information uh, you can just type package delete gnome dash desktop and it knows what version to remove so that makes things a lot lot quicker and a lot easier um, you'll notice here there was one more left over, uh, package delete, live, WNCK, so I'm going to go and press enter again. Now it's gone. After that, I need to run package upgrade, space, dash, FY. Paste that in. Let's move my camera. Oh, I guess I uh, had a typo on my website there. I will have to 
fix that space later. And it's going to update package to 1.0.11, which is the latest in my repo. I try to keep that up to date as much as possible for when they fix the multiple repos setting. So I'm going to run it again. It's going to upgrade uh, Dbus and some Mexwork stuff and get everything ready to install GNOME 3. Let this run real quick. It shouldn't take too long here. So now that we have uh, the packages upgraded here, I'm just going to type package install GNOME 3. Press enter there. And it's just going to tell you it has to install all of these other dependencies that it figured out. I'm going to hit yes. And uh, I'm just going to let this finish here. And after this, it will really be as simple as a reboot. Um, and then we will be in the GNOME 3 environment running on PCBSD. Uh, we'll let this finish up here and do a quick reboot, and I'll come back and show you.